What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and welcome to Universes Mini. For those who don't know, this is a new show I've begun to discuss various topics on versus debates, whether it be like um, previous matchups I've gone into or controversial matchups that I might want to speak about or something like that. Um, and you can leave topics in the comment section below that you'd like me to talk about. But today, we are going to cover levels and scaling and calculations and all that, and why certain people use calculations more, why certain people use um, levels or scaling more, and why that matters to them, and why scaling is important, um, even though some debaters won't do it for some reason. <laughs> um, but anyways, we're going to get right into it. All right, so first of all, what exactly are these levels that I talk about, like building level, planet level, universe level, you know, all this... All this crazy level stuff of certain things that people have destroyed. And what do they have to do with calcs and scaling and all that? Well, the levels are like a certain range um, that characters' powers have been um, assumed to be. Like, for example, um, in Street Fighter, we see Akuma punching an island. And then in the next frame, it says it vanishes. So I guess we assume Akuma destroyed it or whatever. Um... So, of course, that would be island level because he destroyed or sunk an island with a single punch. That's his strength, island level. It's not really that hard to comprehend. But while that may be simple enough, there are times where characters haven't destroyed what their level apparently is. Like, um, for example, Sonic the Hedgehog in his base form is about town to maybe city level. But, whoa, wait, it's, it's Sonic. He wouldn't destroy a city or a town, right? That's where scaling comes in. You see, he defeated, uh, in Sonic Generations, he defeated Perfect Chaos, who was destroying the entire Station Square area, you know, that city place you play in the Sonic Adventure games. In Generations, Base Sonic was able to defeat him, even though it took Super Sonic in the Adventure games, but I guess Sonic's gotten stronger since then. So, there you go. Base Sonic is city level for being able to destroy Perfect Chaos. But why do we scale? Why exactly is this a thing? Why, why does it work this way? Well, think of it this way. If one character survives a certain explosion, but then another character is able to kill them, wouldn't it logically make that character more powerful than that explosion? And calculations actually play into this. Like, um, let's, let's take Frieza. This is just a random example. Nothing canonical about Dragon Ball or whatever. Um, let's say Frieza survived getting hit by... Let's say Frieza got hit by an asteroid so hard that it amounted to about 60 zettatons of force, which would be around planet level. Let's say he survived that without a scratch, like just not hurt at all, like he just brushed it off, casually survived 60 zettatons of force from being hit by this asteroid so hard. And then Goku comes in, punches Frieza, and badly damages him with that punch. It would logically mean that Goku is able to punch with more than that 60 zettatons of force because he damaged Frieza, when that 60 zettatons did nothing earlier. So even though we have not yet seen Goku punch with 60 zettatons of force, he should be able to considering he was able to harm Frieza, who was previously unscathed by that 60 zettatons. Again, this is all hypothetical. Of course Goku can hit with more than 60 zettatons of force. Uh, this is just very hypothetical, so don't take any of this, like, fact. <laughs> but again, that 60 zettatons would be planet level. I mean, even if you don't have to, de you even don't have to destroy a planet, just face 60 zettatons of force, and you're planet level. So these different levels just kind of fit into this range of power. It doesn't exactly mean they can destroy whatever level they are. Like, let's take uh, Tekken, for example. Like, I personally believe um, characters like Jin and Kazuya are planet level, but I don't think they can destroy a planet. They haven't even come close to that. That's stupid. Of course Jin and Kazuya can't destroy a planet. But Jin did defeat Azazel, who was going to destroy the planet, and who is um, definitely planet level, as confirmed by multiple characters and the story itself. So there's no doubt Azazel is planet level and Jin beat Azazel. But Jin cannot destroy a planet. He's just planet level. He can handle planet level foes, but he cannot destroy a planet himself. That's dumb. Take Saitama and Boros, for example. Um, we haven't seen Saitama destroy a planet, but we do know he's planet level because he deflected an attack from Boros that was going to destroy the planet. So that's why this whole scaling system and different levels of power is so important in versus debates, and why certain versus debaters... <laughs> Death battle! should take it into consideration more often. Because trust me, if scaling didn't matter, the most Goku would be is like 
island level because that's the most he's physically destroyed himself, pretty much. I mean, the rest of his is from scaling to uh, the Kai's, Beerus, Cell, all that kind of weird, crazy stuff. But nope, the most he's physically destroyed himself is an island. So without scaling or these levels or anything, Goku would be island at most. Now, while calculations are indeed important, it's very rare when they'll actually come into play, unless it's like super duper duper close. But that very rarely happens actually, because of how different different verses and characters are. Like, two characters could be building level, but one person could have destroyed that building in one punch, while the other could have taken a hundred punches to destroy the building, and boom, there's your power difference. Both building level, but there's a difference. So unless they both destroy a building with one punch, or two punches or whatever, that's when the calculations will come into play, and that's when you have to find out the little minor details and differences. But the levels and scaling do save a lot of time, and the calculations are kind of pointless unless it's super duper close and requires a calculation. Not saying calculations are false or don't matter, because calculations are calculations. They get you the answer. But they don't really matter unless it's so close, because like, if you calc a country level character and then calc a building level character, it doesn't matter if you did a calculation or not. One's country level, one's building level. Obviously, who's gonna win there? So yes, calculations are important, but this scaling and level system is definitely the way to go when versus debating. So I hope that clears that up for everyone. Tell me what other topics you'd like me to cover down in the comment section below. Leopold the Brave, out.